The man is the head of the house. The woman helps. No one has a problem with that. Same way a pilot navigates the plane. The co-pilot helps. No one has a problem with that. The doctor leads the treatment process. The nurse helps. No one has a problem with that. The president of a country leads the country and their deputy assists. No one has a problem with that. There is a, there is a certain kind of leadership style that the pilot needs to have to be able to relate with the co-pilot and work in harmony for the plane to navigate properly. There is a certain kind of leadership style that the doctor needs to have to be able to work in harmony with the nurse for the treatment process to go smoothly. There is a certain kind of leadership style that the president needs to have with the deputy so that the operations are smooth and the country moves smoothly. Have you, you've never heard of any pilot that, you know, ignores the co-pilot. There is no smart doctor who's, who's in the game, who's playing to win, that ignores the nurse. There is no sane president who operates without consultation of their deputy. Unless, unless they are operating headed to failure. It is only in the marriage setup where the man wants to be the head with no questions and with no questions asked. You, the man, wants absolute power without consultation. You want to come home uh, on a Monday and you left on a Thursday and you don't want any questions whatsoever. You don't want to be questions about uh, where you are at. In fact, when, 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 when your woman calls and asks, hey, where are you? You say, don't ask me such questions. That's, that's the leadership that you're portraying and you're hoping to win. You're hoping to succeed. Did you know, even the best of CEOs, the top of the corporate, even the best of CEOs, they also are answerable to someone. The CEO of Safaricom reports, sits down and reports to a board. He might be the top guy, but still. Point is, every good leader is answerable to someone else. You as the man and as the head of your house, who do you report to? Because if you don't report to anyone, then um, that's just unchecked authoritarianism. And in this generation, do you think there is any woman who will stay with you? Do you think you're playing that game to win? Do the mother. But I can save you the time. I'll tell you what will happen. Very soon, you will be on your own. You will call me and you will ask me for a dining set. Uh, and I'll bring you just one seat like this one I'm showing you here. I'll bring you one seat up. You will eat your dinner, you will eat your dinner alone. And you will be miserable and you will not like it. This is your one-seater dining set. Don't ask for a table. You will be alone. You don't need one. Just sit there. Uh, you know, because you are the authoritarian that you are. You deserve to be alone. And I'll charge you highly. Check your uh, style of leadership. Being answerable to your woman does not make you less of a, of a leader. It doesn't make you less of the man of the house. Your woman is there to help you. She's trying to help you. She's your partner. She's also playing to win. You guys will work together. We'll grow all together. Million frames will still be there. Working for you. Making very nice dining sets. So that you can eat together. Making you very nice beds. So that you can spend time together. very nice dining sets you know for men who work with their women as their partners you know they have children you know that's a six seater very nice four seaters you know and we make good deals for you right 
even beds, nice beds we make for you at very affordable rates, all right? If you even have kids, you have twins, we have solutions for you, right? Different designs, right? Because we want you to have, you know, that good family experience. But the kind of unchecked authoritarianism that you want to operate with will not work. And if you think I am wrong, and that such kind of uh, unchecked authoritarianism works, please let me know.